what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at M. Morris Mazda in Port Ritchie, Florida. And guess what? We have that pint-sized sweetheart of a sedan in their lineup. This is a 2021 Mazda 3. This particular one that we have is the preferred trim. But before we dive into their compact four-door, let's talk about what's going on here. So Mazda, this very iconic Japanese brand. Believe it or not, Mazda's been around since the late 1920s. They originally were a company that produced cork. Fast forward to the 21st century, they're really doing a great thing with their lineup. What they're doing is, is that they're adding premium, but not adding premium prices to their vehicles. And boy, oh boy, is there something for everybody. Now with the Mazda 3 being that compact sedan, it's got some tough competition. The Toyota Corolla, the Honda uh, Civic, the Hyundai uh, Elantra, that's just some of the competition. Uh, you know, you could even throw in the Kia Forte and then we could go on to all the American brands and whatnot. But one thing that Mazda is doing and does really well is they bring a very unique style. And when we get to that interior, wait until you see the level of quality and the materials that they use to really elevate the whole feel. So what I wanna do is with this review, we're gonna try to figure out is the 2021 Mazda and you could get this sedan, the Mazda 3 in a sedan or a hatchback. Is this the one to get over a Corolla or an Accord or an Elantra or a Forte? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, what I think is just so stunning is the color. That beautiful soul red sparkles like a ruby in the Florida sun. We start up at the front of the business. Now remember, this got a total redesign in 2019. So we're now a couple of years into the redesign, still looking sharp. Very, very small on the headlight housing. Everything blacked out, a little bit of chrome. Everything super, super clean. Some chrome trim that starts all the way up in that upper right-hand corner of the front fascia and then it's gonna drop down into the center grill. You have a little bit of gloss black, but you know what? Look how smooth everything is. There's not a bunch of weird like folds and uh, almost looks like a, a paper airplane gone wrong that somebody folded. Super smooth on the design no matter where you're looking. Now, as we come across that center grill, you can see how the chrome trim dips down. That's meant to mimic the shape of the emblem of Mazda, some gloss black. I like the way it's multi-studded, really fits well. And then you're gonna have this lower lip extension, which is all one piece. And with the gloss black in the corners, really gives it a great look. When it comes to Mazda's hoods, they really have a nice cascade appearance to them all the way to the front fascia. And then when we hop up on the front fascia, really just simple. Body line starts up top, goes into the hood, and runs right into the A pillar. It, it, it's such a clean design, very, very tasteful. Now, when we come around the bend, what do we work with wheel and tire setup on our Mazda 3? So you can see we have a multi-spoke wheel design, really nice, bright metallic silver. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this? You're looking at 18 inch wheel, so 18 inches in diameter, 215 on the width, 45 series sidewall, and they do a pretty good job at minimizing the amount of space between the top of the tire, the inside of the fender, but you see how that nice rounded design flows nicely into the fender, into the side doors. Now going down the side, you have the belt line, goes all the way towards the back. You have color matched on the mirror caps, super small turn singles built into the mirrors, a little bit of chrome. And I don't mind the chrome because the nice shiny bright metal work works well with what's going on at the front end of the business. You do have a standard size sunroof, color matched on the door handles, and even the way they designed the door handle, very attractive looking door handle. You have that side sill extension that kind of extends towards the back of the vehicle. Coming towards the rear, I'm glad that they kept the chrome up top. And the way they flare it at the back gives it a nice look. Everything else is flat black. Coming into that rear glass window. And then as we drop down, look what we got going on. Trunk design. I love the way they took the emblem and what they did was they kind of raised it off of the rear trunk and you actually have your button here to open up the rear trunk See the beautiful curve, nice smooth lines. Mazda does a great job on their taillights. Full LED taillights, something that looks like it's off of a high performance sports car or an exotic car, really great job. Simple on the badging, Mazda 3, Sky Active, and same thing on the lower portion. You're gonna have some flat black, and then you have one exhaust on each side, but boy oh boy, in that red spot on the money. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this 2021 Mazda 3. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Now, you do have a prop rod. I am gonna, I am gonna zonk that, especially where they place it. Underneath the hood, though, the great news is they keep it simple. You have that tried and true 
2.5 liter inline four naturally aspirated engine. So you're looking at 186 horsepower, 186 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a six speed automatic transmission. You can get a six speed manual. And the bigger news is for 2021, they are bringing a turbocharged Mazda 3. Now it's not a Mazda Speed 3, but still going to bring extra horsepower, which is going to equate to extra performance. Curb weight is around 3,111 pounds, zero to 60 in around seven seconds. And then you have a top speed around 130 miles an hour. And I think the, the big winning news is guess what? MPGs, 27 in the city, 36 on the highway. That really makes everything that much better because you're going to be able to maximize those MPGs with a six-speed automatic, so no CVTs. CVTs do not apply at Mazda, do not work at Mazda. They give you a nice six-speed automatic. But while we go ahead, let's get to that interior and see what premium things Mazda's doing on the inside. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Mazda 3. I always love it as soon as I get inside because they really have done such an elevated job when it comes to fit and finish that when you compare these to the others like the Honda Civic and the Toyota Camry, excuse me, Toyota Corolla, it just doesn't hold a candle to what they're doing in here. Now, I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, well, if it's nice on the interior, it's got to have a high price. MSRP for the way that this one is equipped with the Soul Red is right at $25,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, love the soft touch material, love the design work, look at the leather, the contrast stitching, even the way they took the silver. You see how they ran it right into the door handle? That means they thought about it. That means they really put thought into the design. They didn't just smack a bunch of pieces together with some tape and some bubble gum. You got some stitch work on that armrest, soft touch everywhere, door pockets a little bit small. You might wanna have to just cut out the guac on your next trip to Chipotle, you'll save some money and you'll save some space and you have an area for a bottle of water to wash it all down. Now, when we get to the dash, same great stitch work, soft touch material, soft touch up top. AC vents, look what's interesting. They even wanted to make this area blend in with the AC vent. So you can see the thought process going on. You have an 8.8 .8 inch uh, horizontal infotainment system screen. Now it's not a touch screen and to be honest with you, you don't want to touch it. It's kind of far away from where you're sitting, but it's at a great height and the way they have it positioned is perfect for driver focus. Let me go ahead and throw it into reverse. Backup camera is going to be a zonk. It's a little on the small side. I wish it would take up more of the actual screen, but it is super clear. You have trajectory lines, but they do not move with the steering wheel. I'll put it back in the park. Even here, I wish that they could have made this a 10 inch screen because there's a lot of real estate on this side and on that side to kind of enlarge it. You do have your new way of icons on the Mazda and you just use that Mazda direct drive control knob to go through the different functions. Very, very simple. As we kind of toggle down, you got that soft touch material. Look at how they used up the real estate nicely for an AC vent, another AC vent for the driver's side. Chrome trim, looking clean, nice dual climate controls. Everything is just so clean here. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. USB, real simple on the start-stop button placement. You do have a place for ding-dongs, ho-hos, and Twinkies up front. You could easily probably get two, probably, no, four. You could probably get four Hostess cupcakes in there, and you're not going to get any cream anywhere. Two cup holders. We have our standard Mazda key fob. Looks like a Zippo lighter. Very, very clean, very light. The only thing that's weird is I don't like where they move the cup holders. So on the previous generation, the cup holders were behind the shifter. They now put them in front. The challenge is if you have like a super slurpee or something, you're not going to be putting it in here. You're going to be holding that in your legs. Just don't squeeze too hard or you're going to get slurpee all over you. A little bit of gloss black. This is going to control that six-speed automatic transmission. You do have a nice selector switch here to go into sport mode. And then what's nice is the gloss black, it's not just standard like piano black. And I know a lot of people hate that name, Piano Black. It actually has this texture underneath, which make, gives it a nice, unique, clean look. Look at this. See the leather? How it extends all the way, soft touch. Onto this armrest, soft as a whole box of Charmin. And I'm talking about like costco size Charmin, not grocery store Charmin. You could actually slide this forward and back, and then you can just lift it out of the way. You got a USB, a 12-volt, and I'd probably say 14 Twinkies. Or, you know what, if you're driving around with a softball on your lap, 
you could put your, it's enough room for a softball. That way you don't have to worry about where your balls are going. Real nice. Seats, super soft, love the design, really just clean overall. And I'm telling you right now, especially for long journeys, it does have the perfect amount of comfort and also that actual support so you don't feel like you're sitting in a waterbed. You ever driven a car in a waterbed? I haven't, but maybe we'll do that on Rady's Rise one of these days. And then you have your standard size sunroof. And I'm so glad that they went with a lighter headliner because it kind of brightens everything up. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this very thin three-spoke steering wheel on the driver's side. All right, guys, business time. Now, you do have manual seats for the passenger, but guess what? Being the driver, I get a nice electric assist. You got that lower lumbar. Ooh, that feels really, really good. And you have two different memory seat settings, which is great. Steering wheel. They do some great steering wheels at Mazda. I like the way they have the nice stitching all the way around, super thin on the spoke, so it's not a very heavy looking wheel. They even hollow out the center here. Tasteful horn button, no paddles to worry about, but boy oh boy, super clean on that instrumentation. Analog tack, analog uh, coolant and fuel, and then you have a digital display in the center. You can see I have it in sport mode. If you take it out of sport, it just disappears. Super clean, that's all you need. Soft touch across the whole top of the dash, but why don't we get to the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this Mazda 3. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. Real simple, you're just gonna hit the release button that's built into that Mazda logo, lift it up. Good size on the opening. What I really do love is just how deep the floor is in there. You can get taller objects. You're looking at a little over 13 cubic feet of space in the sedan. If you want more room, you could go hatchback. That's gonna get you 20 cubic feet of space. I do like to see the levers real easy to get to. To, do, to fold down those seats, they do a 60-40 tango split. And then let's see what's underneath the floor. You got a spare. So nice to see you're not paying extra for that and you don't have to just have a can of flat fix and a 12 volt compressor to get yourself home if you do have a flat. But why don't we go ahead, Mazda's all about that driving experience. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Mazda 3 for a second. All right guys, we're in the 2021 Mazda 3. This one is sedan. Right away, it's just a, a nice welcoming feeling every time you get into one of these. And if you've wanted the perfect compact sedan with the perfect seats, this definitely brings the seats to a new level. The comfort, the support, the quality of materials. Remember, we have that nice naturally aspirated horsepower. Let's see how she does. I do have it in sport mode, on throttle. So you have really nice shifts, super smooth, and visibility out the back. It's a little tight because of the headrest and the way that the glass is slanted, but you have some really great size side mirrors and visibility out the front. The eight pillars are very far apart. Everywhere you look, everywhere you touch, this does not feel like a standard vehicle. It feels like a premium level vehicle without having to pay that premium price. Good feedback, what Mazda does very well is they bring good feedback to the steering wheel. The only thing that's a little different with this generation of Mazda 3 as compared to the past is they went backwards with the suspension. They went to a torsion beam rather than a multi-link rear suspension. So handling and feel over bumps has been compromised a little bit, but I think for the normal average commute, you're probably not gonna notice it that much unless you really knew what to feel for. Um, but overall, you're still getting, like I said, all the great features that you come to expect. Plus, the fit and finish in here is just really nice. On throttle, I do like the way the power builds very, very smoothly. You have more horsepower in this than a Toyota Corolla, than a Hyundai Elantra, and you got great MPGs. Smooth power, good power, usable power. Headroom, I feel good. Remember, I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom. Brakes feel good. Nice, compose, you feel confident. There's not a bunch of body roll, which is great. And even though you may look in the video and say, you know what, that infotainment system seems kind of out of place. It actually, the way they placed it is spot on the money. And, and compared to say the Corolla, I, I like this system better. The Corolla is really good for use. It's just aesthetically, it's not the sexiest. 
this actually has a nice shape to it and the way they kind of dropped it down looks good. I still think probably the Honda Civic is uh, one of the easiest to use and get to um, because of the location and the way that they integrated it into the dash. But going down the road here, you're not getting too much wind noise, super, super smooth, 18 inch wheels, get, give you plenty of, of uh, diameter of metal, but you're not r running on like 35 series sidewalls, so that's good news. Guys, back on throttle. See how she handles here? Look at this, very nice. Super composed, very smooth, great feedback. That's what Mazda does, and they do it very, very well. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get back to Ed Morse, Morse Mazda and wrap this up, so I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Ed Morse Mazda. Definitely gotta thank Bill, Quentin, and the rest of the crew getting us a Mazda 3 and not just any regular one, a 2021 that has the preferred option trim added to it. It really shows that even at small size, Mazda brings a lot of big style and a lot of nice big premium feel to the interior. And boy, oh boy, this would be at the top of my list if I was looking for a compact sedan, especially when you compare it to a Civic, Elantra, Forte, or of course the Corolla. But if you wanna keep seeing sedans like these on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Rady's Rides merch. Gotta give it to Crown Vic out here in the sun, the noise, not, I would say the wind. It'd be nice to have a little bit of a breeze, but thank you, Victor, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.